Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we shall talk about reproduction in Linux. It's a branch of Linux distributions which a lot of young people are attracted to these days. And hence, in this video, we shall talk about the reproducible immutable Linux distributions which you could choose and how you have to choose your favorite ones. Let's just get into the Linux cosmos. We're blasting off to the first step in our journey of reproduction. That's weird. First up, we have NixOS. It's one of those distros which a lot of people love but not many people use us as their primary machine mainly because it's of course reproducible it's not ideal for a programmer to use a reproducible linux distribution due to many obvious reasons one of the major reason being it does not follow the typical linux path system hence it makes developers mad when it comes to playing around in the root level in distributions like nix os and hence my point nix os i would say is a Linux distribution made for people who want to play with software a lot but at the same time don't go into root user repositories and stuff. This is for people who are into programming and development fields like game development, VFX, graphic designing etc. But at the same time it's not made for people who develop applications or stuff like that which involves a lot of Linux commands to be passed which involves a lot of root changes. What the fuck is Apple doing? I mean I understand that I was just talking about something else but I was also reading some other website right now just for entertainment and what the fuck is apple up to right now what is this piece of shit okay i'll probably make another video on that uh maybe if you want to subscribe yeah that came out of nowhere moving on now let's talk about some of the gnu operating systems out there as in the complete richard stallman style gnu linux distributions which is of course geeks linux this is for the people who want to get things done through the hard way and when i say hard way i don't mean the normal usual hard way i mean getting no proprietary drivers or softwares in general and you figuring out some alternative to get out using just the free and open source programs also everything in this operating system is immutable and one of the features of immutable being once you install something you cannot uninstall it you could do that in nix os where it uses the nix package manager and you could get that done there but in geeks it is possible but not as easy as nix os it's a bit difficult geeks linux is also a transaction Linux distribution which means that every change you make on the system is recorded in a transaction log this allows you to roll back changes if, if something goes wrong but it also means that if you make a mistake you'll have to manually edit the transaction log to fix it yeah and that's how difficult it is so if you're looking for a distribution which slaps hard on your face like hard you probably would go to geeks Linux next up we have bedrock Linux or should I just say a run script which you could just run on on any distribution and that distribution would become bedrock linux and it's really as simple as that the reason why i really like this distribution is that you just install any linux distribution in my case in my previous videos i did install arch linux but i did wanted some packages from debian and some more packages from fedora linux if i'm not wrong i couldn't have gotten that if i did not have bedrock linux it uses this technology which it has invented by itself called strata wherein you create different stratas and then you enter into those stratas and then use those package managers or linux distribution you know where every strata is a different linux distribution package manager and stuff like that yeah it's a complex mess but once you have gotten to know about it i think it's pretty similar uh, pretty easy and you know you could get around with some tweaks and tricks and you know showcase that you use fedora and yet you have our packages yeah anybody i did it the next immutable distribution we have is called vanilla linux vanilla os this linux distribution is an ubuntu based distribution which regrets itself for basing itself on top of ubuntu and is probably gonna change its base to debian soon enough this linux distribution has a friendly gui interface wherein you could not only go ahead and then create containers of different linux distributions wherein you could install work around whatever you want to do and then you know play with the features and package manager 
packages of other Linux distributions. This also helps you to use the unique features of other distributions which you, which you have probably not have gotten if you are using vanilla Linux. Not only is it containerized, the main feature is that it is of course immutable which means you can not only access the root repositories easily, it also makes it almost impossible which makes you to use flatpak applications which comes easily almost installed by default in the Linux distribution itself. So yeah, you'll have to use flat flatpak for most of the stuff in this Linux distribution. And last but not the least, we have blend OS. This Linux distribution, of course, immutable, makes it very easy and clear for you to go ahead and then use one single alias basically to access different package managers. So you just go ahead and then use blend to install anything and everything you want where blend by the way is the package manager this package manager basically accesses debian for everything basically but if there's nothing in debian repositories you could also go ahead and then use the same package manager blend to access from other linux distributions where it might be available to install making it personally speaking one of the most beginner friendly immutable linux distributions this linux distribution is so beginner friendly that it just requires one package manager you get my point right yeah of course it might not have a complete gui tool wherein you could easily access other package managers and you know play around with the immutability of the linux distribution it does try its best to go ahead and then make it easy for you if you're doing it through the command line so yeah hope you liked it smash like subscribe goodbye